bad idea every now and then to get all your fish tank crap, throw it in a bucket and bring it down to the shop so we can go through it and look at what you've got that you can use. Because so often um, we need to sell you stuff to fix problems and you've actually already got that stuff sitting in your cupboard. So either just make a video so we can clearly see what you've got. But in, So in this case we've got some polyfilter that'll adsorb and absorb anything impure out of the water. Best thing you'll ever buy. Once it turns black, you chuck it out. Um, we've got a gravel cleaner. It's a must for every water change. We've got a refractometer. It's very important that you calibrate the refractometer using RO water every time you use it. Otherwise, you might be getting inaccurate readings. Um, we've got some Prime. Now, Prime is a water ager, and it's also a really good thing to add if you suspect that you might have organic levels. So like, for example, in this particular tank that I'm playing with at the moment, we've just moved it. So adding a bit of that, what that's going to do is detoxify any potential organics that we've just released by doing this whole big move. Um, we've got a couple of pond feeder blocks that I would not use on a saltwater tank. Now we've got some very good quality fish food. Um, Spectrum Probiotics is one of my favourite foods. We've got some um, parasite remover. Now considering that we just moved the tank, adding a little bit of that would not hurt. Um, also because we just moved the tank, you want to give it a month before we add any new fish to the tank. Now what have we got here? We've got some seafood. Um, I would only feed very small amounts of this. This is just a, a, a nutrient-based food um, fish food is generally enough so if you're going to use this I'd use it very sparingly and just check whether it should be kept in the fridge too because things like that often last longer in the fridge just be aware of that shake it before you use it now we've got some Aptasia X which we could use if we see Aptasia in the tank which in this case there is some so probably getting rid of that wouldn't hurt now what have we got here? We've got some we've got some calcium. We've got some carbonate. We've got some magnesium. So to add to that, I'd also like a trace element supplement, particularly as I start getting more corals in the tank. Something like reef energy would be good. And then I would also look at a nitrate remover assuming that you're cleaning the filter twice a week and i'd put a nitrate remover on it to keep the nitrate down and depending on your phosphate levels you could also look at using a phosphate remover when you need it and um, once you understand your red field ratio then you shouldn't need phosphate remover anymore because your carbon based nitrate remover should be efficient against phosphate once you get your red field ratio right. So we've got other videos on this channel if you'd like to learn more about that. But on the dosing pump, I'll tend to put calcium, carbonate, magnesium, a reef energy sort of vitamin trace element supplement, and then I'll feed the corals as I need to, depending on the corals I've got. And then I'd be quite happy with that.